Hey there, welcome back. Today we're going to be having a look at the latest beta release 2024.8. Let's have a look what they've got in store for us. So just bear in mind, this is the beta version, so there may be some changes before the final version is released. Not sure if you caught up with the Home Assistant team for the Dashboards Chapter 2 live stream. That was pretty cool. I had a brief look at it. Looks like there's lots of changes coming to the dashboards. I'm sure you all agree that this is something that is critical in order to get Home Assistant really usable for the mass market. So one of the things that they've released in this version is new badges for your dashboard. Over here you can see that these are the badges they designed to look around the look and feel of the mushroom cards which are really popular i've been using mushroom for a while now as you can see you can use these up at the top to display various uh, entities within your dashboard um, a bit of a change to service calls nothing major in the functionality but just more in the naming um, they're changing it now to match up with actions along with all the other components um, just bringing things in line so that we have a common naming scheme um, amongst uh, different things within our home assistant uh, more in the way of the sorting and ordering we're now able to sort data tables by created or last modified date um, now uh, large language models ai with olama um, it looks like now home assistant is supporting um, being able to be controlled by the LM, LLMs. Uh, back in 2024.6, they could you could make calls to the LLM for information, but now the LLM can actually control your home assistant. So be interesting to see what people are going to start using these um, LLM controls for in the home assistant. Integrations look like we've got a whole range here. Our Tarco, Bryant Evolution, Dio, Chacon, IOTI, Iron OS, Israel Rail, Link Play, Mad VR Envy, Simplifin, and Tesla Fleet. Um, down the bottom here, we've also got some virtual integrations. Mercury New Zealand, that's quite cool. That's a power company here in New Zealand and Mini Connected. Hopefully, they're going to bring the Ford Connect soon into the Home Assistant stable. Um, my one on Hex is working pretty well at the moment. Uh, improvements to existing integrations. HomeKit Bridge, that's one that I use. I found it really awesome. So great to see that they're now supporting doorbell and motion sensor integration. Um, in order to use the above feature, BD Rayco added support for entities to the Unify Protect doorbell and August integration. Um, talking about entities, they've added entities to the feed reader integration so that you can easily automate when a new article shows up. Um, AI conversation integration now defaults to a cheaper GPIO 4.0 uh, model or 4.0 model. That's good. Uh, changes to the WLED integration now supporting CCT links. Um, and we've also got um, some changes to RoboRock integration um, you are now able to support the washer dryer uh, rear link chime that's really cool i've just got a whole lot of new rear link gear that's arrived so i'll be showing you that soon but i'm going to be hauling my chime out of the box and hooking that up now that it can be supported on the integration some platinum platinum quality level ones that have reached bmw connect drive techno ve and tessie and we've got some um, new ones which are now available to set up from the UI, notably Blue Sound, Genius Hub, History Stats, Mastodon, Rose Sound, Orio, Wake on LAN, and World Clock. Farewell to the following UE Smart Radio. Don't know, I didn't use that one before. Uh, looks like there's some changes to the ZHA. Um, always good to see what does it mean for you nothing well um, I think what I like here is that the integration is being split into separate code bases making it easier to man maintain and improve huge step forward for the integration that took months of work to get um, so what they're saying basically is that 
we're not going to see much change at the moment but hopefully this is going to bring some um, future features coming in the future i really like zha and i'm hoping it can get to a level where i don't have to worry about upgrading to zigbee to mqtt uh, matter updates looks like they've been working on matter i've been using matter a lot i've tested out some new matter light switches and they look really cool um, hopefully we're going to be getting some more matter functionality coming soon uh, knx can now be managed via the ui that's great and then um, this is really cool um, the timer support is now available so i will be doing a little short clip just showing you how the timer works um, on the um, home assistant assist it is very very cool um, so also some changes to the generic thermostat hygrostat helpers will now be linked um, you can now set up button image and select and switch templates from the ui so some other add-ons there uh, integration helpers now set up via yaml um, so always good when we are starting to see more things coming into the user interface anyway that is all for now really great to catch up again we'll see you in the next one bye for now